Hello, and welcome back to the EU Salt Mine. I am your host, Brian. Thanks for joining us today. Stick around after the series for a quick announcement, you will be at least a little confused if you miss it. Before the series, let me say thank you to our sponsor, Manscaped. They contributed half the prize pool, the other half was given very generously and very anonymously. Astral is coming into the match today having won three series already and this is his chance to draw closer to Ocalid and shore up his second place spot a little bit. OSM is here to challenge him and try to stop that from happening. He has only won one series so far and will be increasingly eager to earn a few more victories. Both players come into the mine from the Salt Abundant Qualifier. Can we expect more today? OSM versus Astral. A rematch as Astral's debut one's show match was against OSM where he announced to the world that he was ready to compete at the highest level from day one. Since then, the only player who's ever beaten Astral is Ocalid. He's done so twice and sits at the top of the table, and that's who Astral's trying to keep the pressure on with a win today. If he sweeps OSM, he actually joins Khaled on plus eight game win-loss differential. Any win will send him just one win short of Khaled's current record of 5-0. That's a great dunk kill by OSM to take the lead. He's had a mixed bag of success so far this tournament, but still in with a good chance of making that run into the top half of the table, maybe even into the top three. His win-loss differential has not been the best so far. But if he can take down Astral in what would be a huge upset, he would give himself a brilliant confidence booster moving into his last two games. OSM escapes another Astral offensive play. He's way off the back wall here to try and scoop another goal in, but it won't work out, and Astral actually walks it to the other end of the field and into the goal. That's risky for OSM. It hasn't paid off. It's really unfortunate, actually, that he hit the shot on into the inside of the post. That's what's made it bounce so poorly for him. Had he missed by a larger margin, he would have been fine. Astral still playing as fast as he can and still pressuring on every offensive play. It just looks like he's going to score every time he gets the ball under control. And that's not something you can say about everybody in this day and age. How good defenders are getting at pre-jumping and reading offensive plays. OSM's going to need to do more than that today, though. He can't expect to win a game just by making good reads making good decisions. No, his mechanics need to be completely on point today. And right now, that's not even going to matter because Astral is too good. Walks past him with another flick. And the danger here for OSM is that Astral didn't have to make that move. He didn't even decide to make that move until he saw OSM turning. Then he just flicked it past him effortlessly. If OSM didn't challenge, he would have had to defend against another Astral dribbling play. Astral. Trying to save as much boost as possible here. Flip resetting for fun. But OSM is going to get one goal back. That is careless for Astral. You know, I say flip resetting for fun, but there was actually a reason to get the flip reset there, to wave dash the landing, chip the ball into the corner, but he didn't do that and actually hit the ball quite softly towards OSM. I was surprised not to see that flip reset being used. Astral usually will try to make use of any reset he gets just because why not? But he's got a kickoff goal to go ahead by two again. OSM struggling here. Of course OSM is trying to get away from that bottom two position in last year's tournament. He did do that. He finished off sixth place in the league and it's nice because you didn't have to play in the very first playoff game. He's getting that one by. Finishing bottom two is the worst thing that can happen to any of the players in league play. Top three, certainly the best thing. And everything in between is marginally better with every increase in position. OSM struggling to find any openings here. Still has time on his side for game one. He'll have to try something smarter than what he's done so far. And this could be it. Not a bad approach. And it's snuck in as well. 
Astro wasn't too far off saving this, but he has let it go by him. And it's the approach there for OSM that made all the difference. He had the ball moving quicker. He had a much more difficult angle for Astro to read and to work with. If he can keep that up, then he's going to get goals against Astro. Because Astro's offense has been the best in the league. There's no denying that. But his defense hasn't been as impressive. Still impressive, but when you look at players like Flakes and Ocalid, even Alpha to a lesser degree, you're seeing defenders who really can shut out their opponents for minutes at a time. Astral tends to do that more with his strangling offensive pressure than anything else. OSM with a similar approach to what got a goal last time and he gets another one with it. He's found a winning formula here. Just darting down the line and then getting a big angle change at the very last second. Astral struggling to get across his own goal to make those saves at the far post. And now OSM's faked a kickoff because he doesn't want to lose a kickoff goal like he did earlier. He's making some moves here to keep this game close. And if you remember the first time these two played, the opening game certainly was not close. OSM got annihilated. He said he'd never played against anyone like Astral before. The style of play that he was seeing against him completely caught him off guard. But now he's had time to study Azrael and figure out what to do differently. And I believe OSM as well has just worked on himself. He's tried to improve his own play. Try and play at a more consistent level. Only one win and three losses so far. But he's been showing potential. And that's more than could be said for the one player below him. Scrub really is struggling at the moment. Those two have yet, of course, to play against each other. Astral. Quiet game one for him. And look at that from OSM. Huge read. Pre-jumping off the ceiling for an interception. He's got to be careful here. As he increases his pace and starts to try and play quicker. He's pushing his, himself out of his comfort zone. And into Astral's comfort zone. This is exactly what Astral wants to do. He wants to play at Supersonic the entire match. I know Khaled beat him. Both times he beat him, in fact. It wasn't by playing Astral's game, it was by playing his own game. Good save, Astral. Denying OSM a late lead. OSM still has an advantageous position here, but he's back flipped away from the ball. That could have been an open net for Astral, but he has missed it. Huge mistake from OSM. Goes unpunished. And he might have another chance here. Astral's missed the ball, and OSM's missed the open net. He puts in the rebound. But what on earth happened to Astral here? Looks like he's understeered, side flipped by accident. And OSM couldn't believe his luck. Hit the post, but it bounced well for him. One second left in the game. OSM has the lead and he has the win. GG, 1-0, OSM. After the end of that game, I think there is inevitable tilt for Astral. What a way to lose. It'll be hard for him to regain focus between games, but he will need to as OSM has the lead now. What can OSM do next to try and further secure lead? Well, well, well. OSM with another name change. He's trying to tilt Astral here. But will it work? Don't know if he was even satisfied with the name change. He wanted to say something in quick chat just to make sure that Azrael noticed it. You know, after a comeback win in game one, he must be feeling confident. Azrael has definitely seen better days. He was very quiet in the latter half of that game, not seeing much offensive success. Already, he is looking threatening in game two, but he's hit the post on the rebound. And did he have to rush the shot the way he did? I don't know if that was necessary. Usually Azrael's so effective with those shots. You don't blame him for going for it. But look at this. OSM takes another lead. And it's just by reading what Azrael is doing. You know, I said that this is going to be a big component of his win today. But also highlighted the mechanics were going to be important as well. But OSM finished off game two. Game one, rather. By matching Azrael mechanically. And now he's doing the same thing. But also reading what Azrael's doing. And it's not an easy thing to get inside the mind of one of the flashiest and trickiest players in the game right now. That's what OSM is doing right now. We're getting caught off guard by the delayed flicks and the pre-flips. He's playing a great possession game in the back corner and who does this remind you of? 
if not league leader 5-0 O'Khaled. That's exactly what he does to try and force mistakes from his opponent. Astro going to try and do the same. It's a possession game right now. Astro is not getting many goals out of it. He's lost control of the ball. OSM finding more and more success in this matchup. Looks like Astro may be tilted, whether by the results or by OSM's shenanigans. Who knows? But he is not having a good time in this match. OSM's just bumped Astral into the goal. So he's not going to be recovering as quickly as he usually does. Better first touch there for OSM. Would have been an open net for him. Instead, Astral does make the save. But OSM with a boost steal. Keeps the pressure on. Astral quickly into the wave dash for the midfield. Look at that. OSM still able to match him. In terms of speed. In terms of aggression. And if you haven't already seen the previous match between these two, you should absolutely go and watch it after this series is over and see the difference in OSM's play today compared to that day. And oh dear, Astral, he has just left the ball on the goal line thinking it's in, but it has bounced downwards and into the bar again. And OSM gets a 2-0 lead. Could Astral have finished that shot off? Maybe, maybe not, but all we do know is that OSM beat him to the follow-up and he's got the lead in an even stronger position. It's about to be better still for OSM tell you what Astro might have tilted himself here he is going completely bananas here in offense second time in a row that he's just given the ball away with an incredibly soft touch OSM might have got inside his head he's making a dart off the crossbar look at that from OSM hard read on Astro's high shot gets in a position for the insane save and Azrael has gone minutes without scoring. This is the first time in his one's career that he has struggled to score this much. And who would have guessed that OSM would be the player to shut, shut him out for this long? Azrael consistently off the bar. He knows if he doesn't shoot the ball perfectly, OSM will save it. But that's brilliant by Azrael. He's getting closer and closer. And eventually, he puts in his first goal of the game. That was creative. It didn't work out initially for Astral, but he made the best out of it. And he's still got a great chance here. Look at that from OSM. So cheeky. But Astral sees it coming. And he's back within one. Why would OSM try the old-fashioned break miles away from the ball and just hope that Astral hits it into him? You know, if he's way behind and he needs lots of goals, then fair enough. I can see the reward for that play but what we see there is the unnecessary risk OSM barrels through Astral for 4-2 and he's done it again every game he seems to score a low 50-50 every series these pop up and work out still firmly in control of the match firmly in control of the series even it's not like he held off for his surging Astral in the end of game one. No, he's the one who came back and took the game. And he's continued winning here, but wow, what a play by Astral. We need to see this again. He just challenged on the wall, got a reset on the ceiling, and then fell down to dunk on OSM, who was trying to dribble the ball in his own box. Once again, we're just left completely mesmerized by what Astral can do. The kind of things that he comes up with, and he has made a response in quick chat as well. OSM was making comments here and there, trying to get inside Azrael's head. You know, OSM might have a shot here. And that's something that all of his time spent freestyling will definitely help him with. What saves are pouring in, and so are more goals to Azrael's net. Both players actually succeeding with offensive corner challenges off the wall. That's not something you see every day. And Azrael trying desperately to come back here. One minute left. He's started scoring at a more consistent rate now. And OSM is recovering here. Azrael beaten to the ball. He's trying to mind game that one in. And it hasn't worked out. And he's miles out of the play. OSM might even stop this on the goal line. That's so smart by OSM. He's making Azrael do his bidding. And then once he's wasted a bit of time off the clock, he puts it in. Close one, he says. And you know, I can't really blame Azrael for being tilted here. It's not going his way today. And this is a player who he's destroyed in the last time that they matched up against him. Maybe 
just maybe, Azra was looking ahead to his other games that are yet to come, thinking about how to get the wins in those matches that he may have thought were more important than this one. But you know, we're talking about Astro keeping the pressure on Ocala at the top of the league, talking about OSM escaping the bottom of the league. You know, if OSM wins this one, he's only one win behind Astro in league play. By the looks of things, a sweep is even on the card. So OSM's playing some brilliant Rocket League and he's got Astro tilted. That is absolutely key. Keep that up. Astral is going to really struggle to come back and get anything from this game. Another great save from OSM. Denying Astral any consolation goal in the final 10 seconds. Could be huge. And another good save. And a third one as well. OSM refuses to concede. And he's now leading the series two games to nil. Thank you Manscaped for sponsoring the EU Salt Mine. There's an offer code for you, Tourney20, which is a 20% discount for Manscaped purchases. OSM is outclassing Astral, and looks good. Can he complete the sweep? Game 3, and not the sweep that anybody would have predicted for today. OSM leads two games to zero. And he's got the first kickoff in his favor as well. Flick on target, Astral hits it into his own bar to save. But he is not getting as much of the ball as he would like right now. And he's not getting very lucky either. OSM just lands on him in a 50-50. And opens the scoring 13 seconds in. That is fortunate. But there's no denying Astral is starting to crumble under pressure here. You know, if there wasn't any bad blood between these two before today, I would be surprised if there isn't after this match is over. Regardless of whether or not Azrael come back, comes back to win. Because OSM... Trying everything to get inside his head. He's just going for the win at all costs. He's certainly angering Asriel to do it. And that could be something that comes back to haunt him. If not today, then in the future. Who knows if a gauntlet matchup awaits these two. Asriel being denied goals for long periods of time. Both in game one and game two. It's both unusual and certainly something that's messing with his mentality. He's rushing his offensive plays. He's diving in to try and put shots on target that he usually would just play patiently. You know, in the past I've been crediting Azrael for playing such a smart game in ones. He's not just a mechanical player. He's also playing really, really smart with his challenges usually. Deciding what shots to go for and what to leave behind. Today, for some reason, he has been taking more risks than usual. I think it's because his opponent OSM has just tilted him from game one until now. But Astro will equalize. That's a well-placed flick. Bumping OSM as OSM was trying to retreat with the dodge was key as well. That's what gave Astro the space to get the shot set up that he wanted. He wasn't under any pressure there to release the ball quickly. OSM's given Astro a free shot here. Post saves him. OSM doesn't want to do that too often. Astral is difficult to keep back at the best of times. Never mind when you let him shoot at you. Uncontested. OSM looking for the counter attack. Still has great pressure play lined up with all the boosties saved. And that's off the bar for OSM. Wave dash recovery. 2-1. And Astral, for a change... Not the more efficient of the two players. He ends up starved on his goal line. OSM's got enough boost to make the play that he wants. And that's happened quite a lot this match and this uh, game as well. Astral in reverse, trying to flick the ball on target. OSM feels his wave dash. He's decided to fake the clear ball initially, just to land behind it and then go for it a second time. Astral is all over the place here. He's flipping left, right, and center around the ball. But he did still have the boost to make the recovery. And now the dodge could be coming in from anywhere. OSM still saves it. And that has left Astral motionless in the goal and out of the match. The earliest forfeit that we've seen all tournament. OSM sweeps Astral. Two minutes and 28 left in the clock. And Astral has had enough. Okay, so maybe the game replays at the end of the video will be a little useless. 
Hard not to spoil the forfeit this time. Shall I just say I am looking forward to seeing the results of the salt poll on Twitter for this series. GG's to both players, a dominant win will feel great for OSM, but I do sympathize with the tilting experience that Astral went through. Astral falls down in the standings a bit due to his less favorable game win to loss ratio now. OSM reaches his second win, and is able to climb up to join Fairy at fifth place. Thank you again to Manscaped for sponsoring the EU Salt Mine. There's an offer code for Manscaped purchases, to only 20, which will give you a 20% discount. If you come back tomorrow you will find yourselves tuning into a Fairy Peak vs OSM series. A series that holds the balance of the lower half of the table. Thanks for watching today. This is the EU Salt Mine, I am your host, and friend, Brian. Oh. You thought I forgot? Not at all. I am just testing your patience. The announcement is sad for most of us, but happy for at least one. Scrub Killer was a no-show and forfeit for his next scheduled series. Which means that OSM will be the aforementioned at least one happy person, as he has been gifted a 3-0 win. This could cause some unscheduled salt production from the other players too. Thank you for your time, and your ongoing friendship. Be well. Well, well, well. OSM with another name change. He's trying to tilt Astral here. But will it work? Don't know if he was even satisfied with the name change. He wanted to say something in quick chat just to make sure that Azrael noticed it. You know, after a comeback win in game one, he must be feeling confident. Azrael has definitely seen better days. He was very quiet in the latter half of that game, not seeing much offensive success. Already, he is looking threatening in game two, but he's hit the post on the rebound. And did he have to rush the shot the way he did? I don't know if that was necessary. Usually Astral's so effective with those shots. You don't blame him for going for it. But look at this, OSM takes another lead. And it's just by reading what Astral's doing. You know, I said that this is going to be a big component of his win today, but also highlighted the mechanics were going to be important as well. But OSM finished off game two, game one rather, by matching Astral mechanically. And now he's doing the same thing, but also reading what Astral's doing. It's not an easy thing to get inside the mind of one of the flashiest and trickiest players in the game right now. That's what OSM is doing right now. We're getting caught off guard by the delayed flicks and the pre-flips. He's playing a great possession game in the back corner, and who does this remind you of if not league leader 5-0-0 oh, oh, That's exactly what he does to try and force mistakes from his opponent. Astral going to try and do the same. It's a possession game right now. Astral is not getting many goals out of it. He's lost control of the ball. OSM finding more and more success in this matchup. Looks like Astral may be tilted, whether by the results or by OSM's shenanigans. Who knows? But he is not having a good time in this match. OSM's just bumped Astral into the goal. So he's not going to be recovering as quickly as he usually does. A better first touch there for OSM. Would have been an open net for him. Instead... Astral does make the save, but OSM with a boost steal. Keeps the pressure on. Astral quickly into the wave dash for the midfield. Look at that, OSM. Still able to match him in terms of speed, in terms of aggression. And if you haven't already seen the previous match between these two, you should absolutely go and watch it after this series is over and see the difference in OSM's play today compared to that day. And oh dear, Astral. He has just left the ball on the goal line, thinking it's in. But it has bounced downwards and into the bar again. And OSM gets a 2-0 lead. Could Astral have finished that shot off? Maybe, maybe not. But all we do know is that OSM beat him to the follow-up. And he's got the lead in an even stronger position. It's about to be better still for OSM. I'll tell you what. Astral might have tilted himself here. He is going completely bananas here in offense. Second time in a row that he's just given the ball away with an incredibly soft touch. 
OSM might have got inside his head. He's making a dart off the crossbar. Look at that from OSM. Hard read on Astral's high shot. Gets in a position for the insane save. And Astral has gone minutes without scoring. This is the first time in his one's career that he has struggled to score this much. And who would have guessed that OSM would be the player to shut, shut him out for this long? Astral consistently off the bar. He knows if he doesn't shoot the ball perfectly, OSM will save it. But that's brilliant by Astral. He's getting closer and closer. And eventually, he puts in his first goal of the game. And that was creative. It didn't work out initially for Astral, but he made the best out of it. And he's still got a great chance here. Look at that from OSM. So cheeky. But Astral sees it coming. And he's back within one. Why would OSM try the old-fashioned break miles away from the ball and just hope that Astral hits it into him? You know, if he's way behind and he needs lots of goals, then fair enough, I can see the reward for that play. But what we see there is the unnecessary risk. OSM barrels through Astral for 4-2. And he's done it again. Every game, he seems to score a low 50-50. Every series... These pop up and work out. Still firmly in control of the match. Firmly in control of the series even. It's not like he held off a resurging Astral in the end of game one. No, he's the one who came back and took the game. And he's continued winning here. But wow, what a play by Astral. We need to see this again. He just challenged on the wall, got a reset on the ceiling, and then fell down to dunk on OSM, who was trying to dribble the ball in his own box. Once again, we're just left completely mesmerized by what Astral can do, the kind of things that he comes up with. And he has made a response in quick chat as well. OSM was making comments here and there, trying to get inside Astral's head. You know, OSM might have a shot here, and that's something that all of his time spent freestyling will definitely help him with. What saves are pouring in, and so are more goals to Azrael's net. Both players actually succeeding with offensive corner challenges off the wall. That's not something you see every day. And Azrael is trying desperately to come back here. One minute left. He's started scoring at a more consistent rate now. And OSM is recovering here. Azrael beaten to the ball. He's trying to mind game that one in. And it hasn't worked out, and he's miles out of the play. OSM might even stop this on the goal line. That's so smart by OSM. He's making Astral do his bidding. And then once he's wasted a bit of time off the clock, he puts it in. Close one, he says. And, you know, I can't really blame Astral for being tilted here. It's not going his way today. And this is a player who he's destroyed in the last time that they matched up against him. Maybe, just maybe, Astral was looking ahead to his other games that are yet to come. Thinking about how to get the wins in those matches that he may have thought were more important than this one. But you know, we're talking about Astro keeping the pressure on Ocalid at the top of the league. Talking about OSM escaping the bottom of the league. You know, if OSM wins this one, he's only one win behind Astro in league play. By the looks of things, a sweep is even on the card. So OSM's playing some brilliant Rocket League, and he's got Azrael tilted. That is absolutely key. Keep that up. Azrael is going to really struggle to come back and get anything from this game. Another great save from OSM, denying Azrael any consolation goal in the final 10 seconds. Could be huge. And another good save. And a third one as well. OSM refuses to concede. And he's now leading the series two games to nil. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring the EU Salt Mine. There's an offer code for you, Tourney20, which is a 20% discount for Manscaped purchases. OSM is outclassing Astral, and looks good. Can he complete the sweep? Game three, and not the sweep that anybody would have predicted for today. OSM leads two games to zero. And he's got the first kickoff in his favor as well. Flick on target. Azrael hits it into his own bar to save. But he is not getting as much of the ball as he would like right now. And he's not getting very lucky either. OSM just lands on him in a 50-50 and opens the scoring 13 seconds in. That is fortunate, but 
There's no denying Ice really starting to crumble under pressure here. You know, if there wasn't any bad blood between these two before today, I would be surprised if there isn't after this match is over, regardless of whether or not Azrael come back, comes back to win. Because OSM is trying everything to get inside his head. He's just going for the win at all costs. He's certainly angering Azrael to do it, and that could be something that comes back to haunt him. If not today, then in the future, who knows if a gauntlet matchup awaits these two. Azrael being denied goals for long periods of time, both in game one and game two. It's both unusual and certainly something that's messing with his mentality. He's rushing his offensive plays. He's diving in to try and put shots on target that he usually would just play patiently. You know, in the past I've been crediting Azrael for playing such a smart game in ones. He's not just a mechanical player. He's also playing really, really smart with his challenges usually. Deciding what shots to go for and what to leave behind. Today, for some reason, he has been taking more risks than usual. I think it's because his opponent OSM has just tilted him from game one until now, but Astral will equalize. That's a well-placed flick. Bumping OSM as OSM was trying to retreat with the dodge was key as well. That's what gave Astral the space to get the shot set up that he wanted. He wasn't under any pressure there to release the ball quickly. OSM's given Astral a free shot here. Post saves him. OSM doesn't want to do that too often. Astral is difficult to keep back at the best of times. Never mind when you let him shoot at you. Uncontested. OSM looking for the counter attack. Still has great pressure play lined up with all the boosties saved. And that's off the bar for OSM. Wave dash recovery. 2-1. And Astral for a change, not the more efficient of the two players. He ends up starved on his goal line. OSM's got enough boost to make the play that he wants. And that's happened quite a lot this match in this uh, game as well. Astral in reverse, trying to flick the ball on target. OSM feels his wave dash. He's decided to fake the clear ball initially, just to land behind it and then go for it a second time. Astral is all over the place here. He's flipping left, right, and center around the ball, but he did still have the boost to make the recovery, and now the dodge could be coming in from anywhere. OSM still saves it, and that has left Astral motionless in the goal and out of the match. The earliest forfeit that we've seen all tournament, OSM sweeps Astral. Two minutes and 28 left in the clock, and Astral has had enough. Okay, so maybe the game replays at the end of the video will be a little useless. Hard not to spoil the forfeit this time. Shall I just say I am looking forward to seeing the results of the Salt Poll on Twitter for this series. GG's to both players, a dominant win will feel great for OSM but I do sympathize with the tilting experience that Astral went through. Astral falls down in the standings a bit due to his less favorable game win to loss ratio now. OSM reaches his second win, and is able to climb up to join Fairy at fifth place. Thank you again to Manscaped for sponsoring the EU Salt Mine. There's an offer code for Manscaped purchases, to only 20, which will give you a 20% discount. If you come back tomorrow you will find yourselves tuning into a Fairy Peak vs OSM series. A series that holds the balance of the lower half of the table. Thanks for watching today. This is the EU Salt Mine, I am your host, and friend, Brian. Oh. You thought I forgot? Not at all. I am just testing your patience. The announcement is sad for most of us, but happy for at least one. Scrub Killer was a no-show and forfeit for his next scheduled series. Which means that OSM will be the aforementioned at least one happy person, as he has been gifted a 3-0 win. This could cause some unscheduled salt production from the other players too. Thank you for your time, and your ongoing friendship. Be well.